Welcome to Holbrook Hotel made by Bare Bones. First interesting thing that I notice here is that the menu is interactive. We're moving in it. What the fuck? That's awesome. I mean, ow, like you don't really see that in a lot of games. By the way, I want to point out that the guy who made this game, he says that he's 14 years old. That's his first game, so let's see. This is awesome. I'm already amazed so far. Ooh, 3 a.m. That's the best time to wake up. It sounded like an animal. I don't know. Do you think it was a scream? Is that where it came from? I'm not the only one who heard this. Knock knock, is someone there, man? So far there's nothing odd, man. How about you get the hell out of oh, Holy fuck, man. I have to run? I certainly didn't expect that. Where's the button? Is he, is he getting in? Oh my god, that's so well calculated. Because here's the thing, you don't want to be super fast. You need to feel tension. Oh shit, there's people here. Hi, is your name Joe? I need to call the police. Do you have a phone? I like your shirt. <laughs> Thanks. What the fuck? He looks like a demon. Hello? I'd be careful out here at this time of night. Why is that? You've already seen him, haven't you? Is this like some legendary killer or something? I find it hard to believe though. It has to do with design, you know? If he looked like, like a monster of some sort, I find it hard to believe that uh, such a normal humanoid or what, whoever that was, is like he passed down like a legend or something. What the fuck? What the fuck? <laughs> That's literally what he said. You scared the hell out of him. Oh, I uh, lost my medication. Dude, he needs medication. He probably needs drugs. 911, what's your emergency? Okay, do you have a car? Police. What? The fuck just happened? Holy shit, someone killed the entire police station. Oh, okay, the, it's not the telephone, the guy just died. Dude, what the fuck? How did you guys get destroyed? Okay, why the fuck would we go towards the jail cells? What? Holy shit, what did I tell you, man? What? Missing you. What do you mean? Wait, what the? Okay, now we're getting the strange vibes. We're getting the like fantasy vibes. Okay, odd. Very odd ending. So we're getting into the strange now, which is expected in horror games. However, what's odd is that like everything so far has been pretty much realistic. And this is like the only fantasy side that we get. So if the game ends here, Everything that happens in the hotel is great. And searching the trash bins, I had to turn around and walk towards the hotel again to search for the trash can over there. However, the moment you do that, it's like the tension is just dying off. You know, you're aware that you're just spending time walking. Nothing is really happening. Nothing's happening in the background. So instead, I would have just preferred to have you like search one trash bin or two trash bins that are close to each other instead of having to walk all the way back then all the way back again. So the game evolves then into a journey. You're making it towards your car, you're just walking, and this is where tension dies off. But then eventually, tension has to go back again. And we were kind of getting it with the police station. You, you open the door and then you see the cop dying. This is serious, it communicates to you, okay, so whoever is chasing you, he's not just some nobody, right? It is someone actually threatening, right? This is where tension starts to build up but then i believe that it ended too soon like you have horror games where things are illogical but in this case it's like happened in the final five seconds of the game if you think about it you only see the killer at the start what you see after is only people that he has killed you assume anyways but you don't see the killer again but instead, we're going into the fantasy realm. We're changing, like, the physical rule, right? We went from realistic to, like, now we don't know where we're going, and it ends there. Like, that's the odd part. So, yeah, so that's Holbrook Hotel. That was a game made by Bare Bones. Uh, good job. Good job on your first game. You have established that you know how to create, like, a spooky environment. You even threw NPCs out there. You threw side quests at, at, at the person. And the scene with the police officer, that, that was good. That was brutal. I wonder what would happen if he gets to you I like the music okay that was way too loud 
Oh shit. It's not necessary to make it go way... Like at the end, the goal of the horror games is to make you feel uneasy. Not to like make you like uncomfortable. Well, uncomfortable, yeah, emotionally. But not physically uncomfortable. At least for me, that's why I'm not really a gore guy. Because me, what I look in horror games is not to be like physically assaulted. It's not to be like physically uneasy, but to be emotionally uneasy. Or mentally uneasy. Anyways, that's it. That's all I have to say. Yeah, good job for your first project. That's cool.